trust inside your feelings First of me was waiting for that evening It's just me these days, I can't say I'm good I can't stop seeing your face on all these ceilings Right here we have the Santa Cruz VX deck. This is the VX deck after I skated it for a few weeks. I'd say three, almost heading to four weeks. This is how it came out. This is literally how I finished skating it. You can see that layer right there. The VX decks for Santa Cruz are a five ply deck with two reinforcement layers which make it much thinner than your average seven ply deck. I finished skating this around three to four weeks, almost four weeks. It was delamming. I'm not gonna lie to you. The second day that I got done skating, this piece right here delammed. This board, when I first got on it, it felt like it was there was too much concave. I'm not the type of skater that likes a lot of concave, but after skating it for the first day, I felt like I adjusted or it kicked in. Now here, I have the dwindle support deck so it's an impact technology dwindle has the impact support the impact light the one that i was skating was the impact support dwindle also has a 45 day guarantee against breakage i skated this board for around three weeks i stopped skating it because i couldn't handle that i got a fat chip on the nose so i didn't want to continue riding it there's nothing wrong with this board. It's not as thin as the the VX or the the flight deck. It gives you the feel of a regular board, except there's supposed to be support on the top right here and right here. This board didn't crack. There's no cracks whatsoever. For this board, the pop felt great. There was nothing wrong with it. Uh, my tricks felt a little slower i will say that like if my flip tricks didn't feel as fast as it would on a flight deck or even the vx deck the vx deck felt really smooth whenever i flipped it but with this one right here i felt like i don't want to say a lag but that wasn't what it was for this board was more of just there to stay strong and not break which it definitely did its job like there's barely any pressure cracks in right in either side like barely and and compare it compared to this one over here where where the job was to not break although i didn't break this fully 100 percent it was cracking 
the layers were already cracking so so look and it it continues up to over here and this delammed within the second day so yeah it's nice that it's a thin board and the concave is a little more than the flight deck but I definitely still have to go with these decks the flight decks like seriously these boards are the best like I'm not even joking like the flight decks the yeah you'll have people complain about it razor tells really quickly or uh, it's just the, the wear and tear these boards are meant not to break like 100% they don't they're not they're meant to not break 100% they're meant to not break this is my spare now because uh, it, it just withholds another thing I love about the flight decks it gives you a warranty so if by some miracle you break that board you get to send them this and you get another board let's compare the tail like how much of a razor tail it has versus the the VX look at that and I skated this board for three weeks three to four weeks so that's that's the power flight there. let's see the VX razor tail versus the power power razor tail having talked about the three boards the the VX technology that Santa Cruz has provided, the impact support that Dwindle has provided for Blind, Enjoy, and what other brands are on there. <clears throat> they also have the Impact Light, which I haven't tried that one. And then we, we're, we're to Pile Flight Decks. Literally my favorite. This board is my favorite. I talked about the Santa Cruz VX deck. I talked about the Dwindle Impact Support Board. I talked about the, the Powell Flight deck, which I've done two reviews already on it. And to be honest, this whole thing is very subjective because it's my experience and it's me going through these boards how I normally skate. So the way I skate is very different than the way you skate. Uh, just how the Santa Cruz VX deck literally it delammed to me on the second day that a side of it blew off who knows what could have caused that but it's probably what I was skating in the streets it could have it could have hit the ground and something could have made a chip so I don't want to say these brands are bad in any way this is just what happened to me while skating these uh, the impact uh, support board that board was great I just stopped skating it because it had a chip on the nose and I did not want to feel that anymore when I was doing like nollie flips or nollie back heels I, I and I love skating flat ground so I had to make that decision like I'm gonna stop skating this and I'm gonna set up another board usually when my board is about three weeks in I stop skating them and I find another board because uh, I just don't want to deal with a chip anymore and the newer my board feels the better I feel skating well once again when it comes down to the flight decks I love it so much they're very thin they don't break and they just feel amazing for me and that's just my experience on it I, I've said that before some people might say that they don't like the way Powell flight decks just raise their tail over time of course Boards are going to raise and tail no matter what over time. The main factor about the flight deck is, to me, it's light. It flicks faster. And it's able to not break if I want to jump down something big. So, for the VX flight deck, that cracked when I was skating at 3 flat 3. So, that's a double set. Uh, and I was trying this, a laser flip on this double set. And I landed my feet. One landed in the middle and the other one just landed where the bolts were. So my front foot just landed and bam, I heard a crack and I was like, oh, wow. But that's not to downplay it because it didn't break 100%. I was still skating the VX deck and I got that trick because it didn't break. So it, those are very strong boards. Once again, don't think that I am trying to say that uh, Santa Cruz VX boards suck. They don't. Most boards would have broken right away not having the technology that the VX board had. So that's just 
what I experienced during these boards. Out of all three of them, which one would I choose? This is just my personal uh, opinion. I just like the way flight decks feel. They are the truth to me. I appreciate that there are other skateboard companies that are starting to acknowledge that there's technology using it in skateboards so skateboards could last longer because people need that. If you're a person that loves to jump down stuff, I, I'd probably suggest any of the three boards. That That's just you because if you don't like thin boards, then maybe flight decks and the Santa Cruz VX decks are not for you. And maybe the imp Dwindle's impact technology is maybe for you because their boards are, are way thicker. I think they still have the seven ply boards while the other two have the five ply. So it's all just based on what you are feeling. So do not let anyone tell you what's better because obviously what works for you may not work for others. What works for me may not work for you. With that being said, I'd like to end it off there and hopefully you can share your experience with any of the technologies that you've had and just leave it in the comment section below and thank you for watching like subscribe and sign out until next time